All right, so what if you found this chair sitting alongside the road? Should you pick it up? Well, be careful. It could have lice. Better to go to a garage sale, make sure that there's no lice. But beyond that, is it worth picking up? Well, of course, it depends on how much they want for it. But suppose you found this at a garage sale for 25 bucks. Should you buy it? Well, there's a few things you can look at. First thing you can check is how heavy is the chair? Well, this chair is kind of heavy for its size. Usually that's a good sign. That'll tell you that you probably have hardwood in here instead of some cheaper plywood. But you do have to be careful because some particle boards uh, can be heavy also. You can also take a look at, um, you know, the features, especially on the wood. What kind of carvings do you have here? This one has some, you know, fairly nice carvings. And that would indicate that it's worth a little bit more. Lastly, you can check what kind of suspension system does it have? Does it have coil springs, which is generally a sign of quality, uh, or zigzag springs, not quite as much, or maybe even uh, elastic banding, which is definitely on the cheaper side. You can tell by just taking your hand and bouncing it here on the bottom. If it bounces, it generally means that you've got some kind of a webbing system down there, and on top of the webbing, you got coil springs, an indication of quality. If you have time, or the owner will let you, you can always turn it upside down and take your scissors and cut the black cambric back. And if we do that, we can see here exposed webbing. Right here, this happens to be synthetic webbing. We can see that it's not bowing, so these springs are actually in pretty good shape. Probably are not going to have to even reweb this. You can also see these staples here. These staples are holding the springs onto the webbing. Be careful though, they can be sharp. And lastly, you can look in between the webbing, such as right there, and you can see and feel the metal, which is the bottom of the coil spring. So, if I happen to see this at a garage sale for $25, I'd snag it. 